Hello everyone, how are you all doing? You are welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here for the first time, you are so so welcome. I really appreciate you. In case you have not subscribed yet, please kindly hit the red subscribe button. Also turn on the bell so you get notified anytime I upload videos. Today's video is about how to bring your husband back home. Even if you stay with your husband, but you notice that he has a side shake. Side shakes can actually cause nightmare to you know to some wives. Why I say most wives is because not every wives. If you really know how to keep your man, how to you know how to keep your husband without making him to look outside, you don't have to be afraid or you know having nightmare. So this particular video will help so much to separate your husband from his side shake. It works like it's purely natural so it works perfectly so there are many things you should put in mind okay you should have in mind while doing this there are some things that are beyond physical we are doing this because the spiritual controls physical so most times those side sheets they may use something else to hold our partner aside beauty you may be wondering what is wrong with me is it that i'm not beautiful or i don't know how to keep him what is wrong that makes my man to be going outside or what is wrong with me that makes him to be looking at other women after this today you will get your husband to yourself in this channel i've been posting videos about cleansing about how to liberate yourself how to get money how to you know how to command money more wealth to you and also how to you know bring back your loved ones for those that broke up with you if you want to know about that you have to check my videos is in my you know my channel just check my videos you see all that so this particular one is for those that already have their partner already have their husband living in the same roof it's not as if they are separated or anything the husband is living with them but shitting on them most husband will just be doing it secretly you know they don't want you to know but most ones will just be telling you one way that they have and most side shit will come openly to you and be telling you yes i'm dating your husband like seriously they'll be telling it to your face like he will not do anything that kind of thing no fear <laughs> but after this today you are going to separate both of them you separate both of them you separate any other woman apart from his mother is not his mother so this is for those that you know for side chicks get friends outside outside like outside matrimonial home okay so after this today he will come and tell you everything like he will be telling you his mind he will not have any secret for you he will respect you you will not keep any woman, any strange woman outside, okay? So, reason why you should do this, before we start, you have to know the reason why you should do this. Because most side chicks, they can, you know, they break homes a lot. That is number one. They cause havoc. They can make the woman to have hypertension, like high blood pressure, that will make her not to live long again. After building your homes, after building, having lovely children, somebody out there like a side chick will just come and, you know, break up the home like that. It's not worth it. You know, it's not worth it. You need to enjoy your home, like, make your husband and you to live and enjoy your home together with nobody to interfere, no distraction. You know, when I posted one video about bringing your partner back for those that separated from their loved ones or for those that divorced with their loved ones, I got so many, you know, made so many messages, both in my inbox, in my Instagram, who telling me that their husband left them because of side chic. So I decided to make this video. This is something so serious, okay? This is serious. Sometimes it may not be a natural thing, like... It's very difficult for a man to just leave his wife like that and children. It feels so great like when the children grow up with both parents. So it's very good because the side chicks are not smiling. So you as a wife shouldn't smile. You have to be prayerful. You have to stand. Okay? You have to stand. You don't have to be afraid. Instead of you to be afraid or being scared or you know, 
making people to pity you. Don't give a chance for all that. You have to stand, be strong, because you are the owner of that marriage, okay? You and your husband, you probably building that marriage. So you have to be strong. You own the man more than the side chick own the man. So many side chicks, they are there to bring the man down, like to, to drain the man, make the man poor. Especially for those men that are very rich and they keep spending for this side chick. And the side chick, they know that the man is, is married, that the man has children. Most side chick, they will be aware that the man actually loves the, you know, love his wife. But they just want, they don't even want love. They don't want all those, all those things. They want his money. And that can be dangerous because when he keeps spending on those side chicks, there won't be money left for the family. Instead of him to be investing, planning for future for the children, it will take everything for the side chick. That one is very dangerous. At the end, there won't be anything left. You see many children tattered, living, you know, looking unkept. That one is very risky. Another one is that the side chick does not want his money. They don't care about money. It's just after the man, like a wonderful attention. They want the man to marry her. Many don't care at all. They don't even want to be, they don't want to know if they, are, they will be the fourth wife or the fifth wife. All they want is, they just want the man. Maybe because the man is caring, the man spends, and the man, the man gives them full attention. They just want to keep the man. And another thing is that maybe because they've not gotten the, their own partner, they want to just enter that marriage. They want to just get married by all means. Another type of dangerous side chicks are those that just want to break up the marriage. They don't want to get anything from that marriage. They don't want money. They don't want attention. They don't care. They just want to be, you know, leading the man, leading the man. From there, they will make sure the man breaks up with the family, you know, divorce with the family and children. The man will just start neglecting the children and the wife. That one is demonic people. They want to derive joy in breaking up the family. They don't want to achieve anything. You have to do this to separate your husband from them totally. If you have a husband that cannot stay without, uh, you know, doing it outside, then you should, you should know how to be doing it, you know, give him all you can. Most people, after you satisfy them, like, there's no how you can satisfy them. They keep going outside that is why we should do this so if you want to know how to keep your man you know spiritually you have to be strong and let's go let's do this together so before you start you have to get a plain paper like this okay this is very important a blank paper you have not written anything on it so you have to use only one part a single sheet like this so I'll be making use of natural ingredients things that are found in your kitchen so you have to get a plain sheet like this and you have to get pepper yes you can make use of any kind of pepper black pepper, any type, make sure it's a very hot one. You will have to get your uh, sea salt or table salt. You will have to get your pen. Pen is very important because you are going to write down some things. So this is what you should do. Before you start, you have to know the side chick's name. Okay, I know it can be very difficult to know the name of the side chicks. Especially if you are not aware, okay? If you are not aware that it's cheating. If you are having the feeling that it's cheating and you are not so sure. So you have to write the name of the side chicks. If you do not know the name of the side chick, you have to write your husband's name. Okay? Let me say your husband's name is, um, what will I say now? Daniel. I don't know any Daniel, but... I'm just using it to, you know, if you do not know the name of the side chick, you have to replace the side chick name with your husband, your husband's name, okay? So this is what you should do. You write your husband's name, Daniel. You write it three times. Daniel, 
and write again Daniel. If you do not know the name of your size sheets. So the next thing you should do is to get the pepper, any type of pepper. Before you add it, you have to say some prayers, okay? Say anything you want. Anything you want this work to do for you. You have to say it. You can just you call the Saishik's name and say, from today, you, not have, you won't have anything to do with my husband. If you see my husband, everything, you know, as this pepper is very hot, it will be peppering you like you won't be comfortable around my husband anymore. You'll be doing it like this. Okay? This is what you should do. Add it and be saying what you want. If you don't know the name of the side sheet, make sure your husband's name that he will not have anything to do with any woman outside. Any side sheet. Nobody. You will not have anything to do with with her anymore after doing it like this make sure the pepper covers the the name okay remember what you are doing here is for separation because the man is actually yours okay this is for husband and wife that the man is cheating or looking outside or for husband and wife that the woman is cheating looking at you know following another man okay it's not only for uh, a man you have to Cover it like this, just, just like this. You say what you want as you're covering it, okay? Then you have to fold it again, like this. Fold it again, like this. Just be saying everything you want to say. If your husband left you, he's not with you anymore because of the side sheet. Say that the man should come back home and take care of his family and be a man and leave that side chick. Even if both of you are not married, but you have children for him, you have to do this because you need to come and take full responsibility. Okay? So you have to be folding it as you say everything. Pepper is very hot. As pepper is very hot, it can make that relationship to be very hot and unbearable for them. They are going to separate after folding it like this then you have to open only one part like this and get your salt and salt adds taste to the food that is how it's going to add taste to your love life to your marriage so as you add it you say you call your name this is the time to call your name you mention your name as you add it that you so 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 person your husband will come back to you and both of you will love each other more and more he's going to find you thirsty like he's going to love you more okay say anything you want to say remember do not add it with the pepper fold it like many times before adding your salt then you fold it more then after adding your salt you fold it one more time to cover the salt like this go straight to the fire or you go to your gas cooker make sure the paper burns okay let it burn to ashes with the pepper and the salt repeat it for seven days you have to do it for seven days and you see everything changing for good this is very spiritual you have to apply faith everything we use here are all natural there's nothing fetish here this is salt and this is pepper. This is just a spiritual way of separating your husband, your wife from side chicks. Okay? So that is it. Do it for seven days and you get a result. So do subscribe to this channel. Okay? Hit the red subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload videos. You surely be blessed. Okay? You have a very peaceful home. Your husband will love you. Your wife will love you. And nobody will come between both of you anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Remain blessed. I love you.